Hi all, today's topic is all about AWS and Azure certifications in Accenture. So most of you people would have known that certifications are very important in any kind of technical areas okay so once you are allocated into a project suppose uh, you are allocated into a, some microsoft project let us assume so they will be asking you to make some certifications in azure okay uh, suppose you are into aws so your project team might be asking you to make certifications on aws and google so many certifications are there and they are also i mean they play very crucial role while giving height to you so at this point of time uh, before you are allocated to a project okay so you are uh, given an interview to some internal projects of accenture let us assume so at that point of time they would ask you like have you done any certifications so far and during the hikes every manager okay because all the team will be working dedicatedly whatever task they will be assigning right out of all who will be the special the one who does the certifications so manager of eoc they will be asking you have you done any certifications it might be external or within accenture so many questions they'll be asking about the certifications so uh, certifications are very important guys and here whenever you think about certifications you might think that it will cost you right so from in hand like from your hand you need to pay for the certifications and like it will be an expense you might you might think but here in accenture accenture is providing you certifications for free okay for azure and aws so all those things i'm going to cover in this video guys so please watch this video till the end and a small request from my side if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do subscribe and if you have any queries you can ping me on instagram by following and also you can subscribe to telegram channel of savipa now let us move to the rest of the video so every year guys in accenture when you are allocated to a project or not you will be getting a outlook mail from cloud elevate guys okay cloud elevate so make sure that it is properly a uh, correct mail don't try to uh you know open any links from the phishing mail okay from cloud elevate you will be receiving a mail regarding the certifications for azure and aws okay so for suppose if you are taking a aws course okay you want to do certification on aws course the first step you need to do is registration okay you need to register guys within the stipulated time they will be providing in the mail okay within that time you need to register if you fail to register then you are out for that uh you know batch okay so next batch again you need to register and it would take some months or uh, year or time okay so try to register as soon as possible once you receive this mail okay so the registration process if you want like there will be a registration link guys within that mail itself so you can register through that link okay so once you have done successfully registration the next step will be there uh, like your trainings okay the trainings will be like self-paced trainings guys there will be a lot of links providing to you so how to go step by step so all those through that links you can practice by yourself so you you might ask that i am having doubts so what is the platform that i need to contact so every uh, weekend like there will be some smes guys okay they will be providing you some workshops kind of so that you can ask your queries and clarify all your doubts so this way the proper training proper agenda will be there for your certifications if you utilize this you will be benefited a lot okay you might think that okay i've registered okay i it might go away next year also i can practice so simply or wasting your time okay first suppose you have registered once try to spend some time daily on it okay once your office is done i mean the task or whatever it is it is done please spend two hours a day and complete daily daily learnings uh, you know don't keep any pendings try to complete or else weekends you can take some long time and you can finish that particular courses okay so on weekends workshops also try to attend and all the self-paced courses you need to finish it off okay this is the second step and third one is nothing but suppose you have got all the theoretical knowledge of whatever certification course you are you are taking okay suppose azure you have got all the things but the thing is you need to have some practical knowledge on it okay whatever you have learned you need to apply it okay so what's the way where do i get environment to get practiced of all these topics or concepts so they'll be providing you some sandbox uh, sessions guys like how to use the sandbox how to uh, you know how do you practice all those concepts that you have learned all these things they'll be 
providing you the environments also in order to make you get practiced of all the concepts okay so for that you might think like it will be paid version like that so no nothing you need to pay they'll be providing you all the access to use that uh, environments guys so don't worry out of all these things so once you are done with your training self-paced learnings and practice sessions so all these things are completed they will be a exams okay like practice exams these are not the actual exams that you're going to write so before that the accenture is conducting some practice exams for you so where you need to clear those exams guys why i'm telling you this because once you get confidence okay self-confidence in you that you can clear this practice exams then you can definitely clear the actual exam as well so try to clear all the practice exams and all the courses that they they have provided you guys and within this the three four steps have been completed right now the actual exam will be there so for actual exam in order to you know in order to register for the actual uh, certification exam you need to have some eligibility criteria which i'm going to tell you now so guys once you are successfully registered i mean registration okay whatever the link they have provided in cloud elevate with that registration link registration is compulsory okay mandatory after registration whatever courses they have provided you right so all those courses you need to complete at least 70 to 80 percent i hope they will be providing you some percentage you need to what percentage you need to complete so so try to complete all the courses they have provided and last one is practice exams guys so most of the people will be asking like uh, see i'm not getting any link or any mail to the you know booking the exams like that because you haven't completed your practice exams they will not send you any booking mail okay in order to book your exam actual exam they will not be sending you the mail you need to definitely complete the practice exams and courses and registration successfully then only you will be getting actual booking exam details in in mail okay and all these courses okay the registration or courses or practice exams within the deadline okay they'll be providing you right suppose uh, this month and you need to finish or next month and you need to finish so all those things you need to complete within deadline okay so once you are successfully completed all these three things in the stipulated time that they have provided i mean within the timeline then within 48 hours okay that means two days okay within two days they'll be providing you the booking details of exam like how to book the exam all the step by step they'll be providing you in mail so in order to receive this booking details mail okay try to complete all the things that i mentioned now okay after the successful booking details like they'll be providing you the steps guys i don't want to mention those things because it might be confidential so please go through the mail once you receive that and follow all the steps that they have mentioned and try to book yourself for the exam okay so after that uh some date they uh, no no they'll be providing you the some choices okay which date you want to book the exam so that date you can book and there will be an option for you in order to postpone suppose you have uh, booked some particular date guys so suppose you have booked your exam for may 31st let us assume and on may 31st or uh, some emergency due to some emergency you are unable to write the exam so you can go to the site same site and again there will be some steps you need to postpone your exam suppose june 3rd or june 10th like that you can again postpone so there will be some date guys like within uh, before uh, two days works exam or before one week of exam you can't change so there'll be some timeline please follow that guidelines and try to postpone if you want to postpone your exam so after that you will be attending the exam okay for the certification and now the thing is uh, suppose uh, while booking the exam do they ask for the money okay so if you register with the accenture mail id okay whatever the steps they will be mentioning in the booking details mail right so in that if you register with the accenture mail id if you are eligible like you have completed the practice exams courses everything fine then automatically the money will be there okay you need not to pay anything there will be like the amount to be paid like zero zero like that it will be there so once you are correctly done all the things things guys and i don't know i'm recently uh noticing that some of the people they are telling that if you are allocated to a project then only you are able to do the certifications the paid certifications that i was not sure guys if you are uh, aware of it you can comment it down 
so okay uh, after this certifications mostly they'll be consist of only mcqs guys so you need to be aware of all the concepts okay conceptual based questions will be there so your practical knowledge everything you need to apply on this exam so successfully after completion of your exam if you are uh, you know if you pass like you will be getting the certification as per your wish so this is totally of aws that i have told right so same steps will be there for azure as well this registration process the trainings work workshops everything will be same guys so same like whatever i told like weekly sessions will be there self-paced courses will be there so while registering like in same aws and azure like here there will be some you know roles will be there right like if you are a developer okay like az204 for azure administrator az104 so like this there will be some uh, you know roles guys so step by step you need to go so before completing az204 you need to complete some fundamentals guys so here there is a root path that i have mentioned for azure guys if you can find for aws also through the mail you can get it uh, like there will be in the mail they will be providing you the ppt guys so in that ppt clearly precisely whatever like guidelines you need to follow step by step so after which certification you need to do the further certification all the steps will be there see here also they have provided you the path guys for administrator what uh, you need to select and for developer what you need to select so all these things are there so try to go through the ppt that they have mentioned in the cloud elevate mail guys and try to open the uh, valid mails not a phishing one and see guys you might be asking me so i haven't completed as your fundamentals can i directly apply for az204 yes you can apply for az204 but the thing is it will be somewhat difficult for you once you are familiar with azure fundamentals and you got certified for that then it will be easy for you when you will move to the azure developer so here try to complete uh, as mentioned in the path if you want individually you like i can learn az204 easily i can uh, manage then you can register for that so that's it guys try to register as soon as possible once you receive mail from cloud elevate guys because once you are done uh, registration successfully then uh, you will be uh, allocated to with the courses so some people will be registering lately right so for suppose for one batch they are providing for 100 people so 100 people have already registered so they they will be faster okay and you are a uh, little bit registering lately okay so at that point of time 100 people have already registered they will be telling you that no seats left you can try for the next batch okay whenever next mail will come then only you can register so try to register early and for eligibility process as i've already mentioned try to complete all the learning courses and also the practice sessions exams and try to book the exam uh, based on the slot that you are wishing for okay that's it guys i hope you like this video and you understood some of the concepts that i have explained you regarding the certifications in accenture and uh, if you have any queries please comment in the comment section and never forget to subscribe this uh, channel guys and do like the video so that it will be reaching to more uh, candidates like you and thanks for watching take care and if you have any queries please ping me on instagram by following thanks for watching guys take care